You don't know it from my YouTube history, but I used to have locks. And I loved my locks. I love the way that they look. They're one of my favorite hairstyles that I have ever, ever, ever attempted, especially after I hit that year mark. I was just, I love, I've never loved my, not never, I've never loved my hair as much as I've loved it in either locks or an afro. And my hair tangles a lot, so quite frankly, locks, it just makes my life so much easier to to handle on like a day-to-day, because -day, I don't have the time, patience, or arm strength to do all that detangling all the time. So, um, the reason I cut my locks, it was kind of twofold. Um, if you remember, when I first started, I have like this video about like, possible mental health resources <laughs> I cut my hair off like completely off in the middle of like I don't I don't want to call it an episode but it, I was it was a day that was particularly hard I'm laughing but it was it was an extremely hard day um, and I was so just like emotionally frustrated and upset I wasn't sleeping I wasn't eating I just I hated everything about everything it was it was around the time that I was having blackouts where um, I would not sleep I would be at home I would be just staring at the ceiling and then I would be at work doing my job like it was a very scary time and one of those days that I couldn't sleep, I literally just was staring at the ceiling. My scalp was itching because I just, I naturally have very dry skin all over. It's, it's been like a lifelong issue for me. That my scalp itching was just like the straw that broke the camel's back. I gave up on the one part of my appearance that I really, truly loved at that time. I just whacked it all off. I pretty much went bald and walked into work without a wink of sleep. But um, I was able to like oil my hair and stuff and I was like, well, it's an image change. Maybe this will be like a bit of a turning point for me. It kind of was. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I, I did that. I don't know what it is about cutting your hair after you've... Um, so carefully maintained it in this style that you like and you're just realizing that you're going through so much stuff as it is and your dry itchy scalp is just one more thing that you you can't handle it on top of everything else um but a lot of those pictures have been popping back up on my facebook for me because, you know, they have the, um, like, memories thing that you can share. And lately, a lot of them have been popping back up. And I was like, I really loved the way I looked. Um, I, I still like my fro, of course. I, I like my natural hair, period, more than I like myself in straight hair. But um, I've been seeing them. And it's... It's giving me that itch again to do it again. Um, but this time I kind of researched. I, I did more to figure out like how to handle my dry scalp. And I'm a lot physically and mentally healthier than I was at the time when I did lock my hair. Um, my scalp is still dry as I'll get out. But, you know, I'm a lot more mentally able to take care of it like when you're having mental issues sometimes the body part is just out of the window because like I said like you're you're blacking out like there's 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 no guarantee to me that I drink water any of those days that I was just sitting in bed all that being said my hair is like this because I'm starting my um, journey again this time on my like I wouldn't say it's healthy honestly like if you look at some of these braids like 
this side is the healthier side. If you look at some of these braids, it's like, okay, like you fried that hair. But you know what? It's the color I want it to be. So that's how I feel about that. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I started it on this. And I did it a lot more carefully. I planned out my parts a little bit more than I did before. I'm a lot more pleased with it. Like the last time I did it, I started it with twists. And I liked that, but the twist really shrunk up like, like really bad. I lost half of my length. And I had, even though I was depressed as hell, I had been working on growing my hair so for it to just shrink up like that it, it it just kind of felt like a slap in the face which i know i know our hair shrinks it's it's not even like a problem of shrinkage then it is just like a fact of our hair but i had hoped to start out with more length than i did at that time um so i've grown it out to a decent length that i like um, i am expecting this to shrink up at least a little bit but yeah, um, I noticed that starting with the twist, the way that my hair type works, it just, I lost most of the length that I'd worked really hard for. And um, it led me to doing like just stupid stuff that wasn't actually good for me or my hair to try and lengthen it to get back to like at least right here. Because like once I was right here, I was fine. So I was like, I'm going to avoid that. I'm going to start out with, you know, as much length as my hair can possibly give me. Because, like, despite, <laughs> despite me cutting off my hair and feeling slightly better about, um, it was the beginning of getting better. It wasn't actually being better. But despite that being what helped me, like, get up there, I don't like my face with short hair. I have like, I have like a, look at these cheeks. Look at these cheeks. I just, I don't, it's not my thing. So, um, I've started this with braids. I actually, I never got rid of all of my locks. So this one, you can see it is a lock already because it's, I kept it, um, it's been here for about a year or is it two I don't know how old this lock is but I've had it for at least a year and like I don't know can I get closer without being gross you see it yeah like this right here absolutely no braid texture because it was never a braid so like about this much of the length of hair about half is and always was a lock and from here to here, you can still kind of see the braid texture. You can see where like it's like twisted or something. But it's mostly gone. And it took, I don't know, several months before it looked like that. Um, and then I have this one over here, which is much newer. I haven't even retwisted the top is is where we're at with this one. But I would say this has been in there at least three or four months now. And then uh, same here. This has been retwisted just a little. See, look at my flaky, flaky, flaky hair. But yeah, this was retwisted. Yeah, you can see like where at the top, the, the kind of texture changes. You know, ignore ignore my silly silly skin i would say these two at the front have been in for about two months because um my initial plan was not to have a full head of locks it was to have some locks and some loose so that happened <laughs> um i'm recording on my phone i don't actually have a camera and I got an old ass iPhone 7, y'all. It's a struggle over here. Like, you just go into my red bubble and buy some stuff. <laughs> like, help me, okay? But anyway, um, 
yeah these two I've had in for at least a couple months this has been there at least like more than this so definitely three or four months and this one has been here for a year if not two at this point um, I guess I could turn around like please ignore my um, gross industrial unfortunately I chose the absolute worst time to get an industrial piercing um, because I got it what a year or so before the pandemic started and it means that I have to keep knocking it to put my mask on so you can imagine how angry this industrial is at me right now um, I've started wearing those like connector things to try and solve the problem but anyway I'm a I'm a turn because I did have an undercut you will see like the length is awkward but I'm I'm pretty pleased with it so here I go I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn and that's the 360 view my hair is super thin um, just naturally or I, I think my hair is fine and thin it doesn't look it because of the texture but I don't actually have a whole bunch of hair um, so I'm a little bit concerned about a couple of these but um, hopefully it'll be alright the last time I did this I I didn't have a whole bunch of trouble maintaining my locks um, hopefully I won't again this time I guess I could like do a thing about doing your hair as a black person in Japan because a lot of the products are really really not geared toward curly hair and that's not that Japanese people don't have curly hair they do they have frizzy hair they have curly hair um, some of them even like sort of kind of almost look like it would be a fro if it wasn't so straight but um, <laughs> I feel sorry for those people because they have just gone through a lifetime of a bunch of products that just it's not for you boo um, they just like loaded up with alcohol and stuff there are um, black people who sell products who um, they just have like a whole stockpile of popular products like Shea Moisture, Eco Styler, um, stuff like African Pride, you, you know, stuff that even if it's not necessarily the company is owned by a black person, the stuff is stuff that you would find in like the ethnic hair care aisle or um, like a beauty store or a beauty supply store if you were back in the US or um, wherever other countries put all their like curly haired black people geared products people do sell those here and I guess I could order from a few and see what happens but I'm a very lazy cheap person but whatever um, I guess I'll take out on my brand new lock journey with my much better mental health and already healthier scalp and see what happens um i'll probably come back later when i don't know but i'll give like an update every few months i feel like every month is overkill like we, we already went through that phase of youtube where everybody was a beauty guru and everybody had their hair i'm not that dude or i'm not that girl okay um, I'm very alternative my makeup don't look like it's supposed to look according to other people I use too much black on my face like, like even my hair right now it's it's not it very clearly was not done in a beauty salon and I'm not even mad about it like that's part of my aesthetic dude uh, but anyway bye I came back and finished the thing, yay. Gold dripping like Fresh Prince of Vegeta.